Right, so this is nectar and tone, but every single round something is going to change. We're putting no repeat combos on. We're not going to put effect stacking on. Want to power up spawns, gain 100 points. Okay, kind of useless because there's only six zombies on round one. But yeah, since this is an extremely small map, I didn't want to do anything too crazy. It's already difficult enough as it is. I think what we will do though, I think we will buy perks. I know, sacrilegious, oh my god, playing Nacked and buying perks. They put the Wonder Fizz in fucking Zombies Chronicles for a reason, right? I would love to try this on OG Nactor and Toten, but it's kind of like not possible because mods... Well, this mod anyway isn't on World of War. That's cool though, that machine that's in D-Machine is over here. I wonder if this is in OG Nacked. Can you actually see this machine in here? God, the rounds are so slow. Where is this last zombie, bro? <laughs> Nactor and Totem round one, always so goddamn long. Like, where even is he, dude? My god, he's all the way over here. Fucking hell, I'm gonna headshot you because I'm not waiting. Oh, and there's one more? Are you serious? Where's this bozo gonna be? Oh, over here. Welcome, dude. When a player takes damage, held gun becomes papped. Okay, wait a minute. This is kind of broken. Because if we do this on Nacked, you know, it's kind of huge. Well, we're going to open this door. Oh, it's a thousand. I wanted to get the box first. I don't know if I want to pack a punch my starting pistol because it's kind of a death trap. Maybe we just get the RK5. But like, I'd love to pack a punch something actually good. All right, we've got enough points. Okay, let's go and spin the box. What's it gonna give me? It gives me a Britchy. Okay, that's actually pretty good. So if you slap me, boom, pack a bunch. Oh, that's so OP. Might as well take the starting pistols too. Well, yeah, there we go. You now have pack a punch on Nactor and Toten. And the goddamn last zombie is, oh my God, all the time. There he is. Jesus, took the time. When a zombie dies, a random player drops a grenade. Oh God. Okay, we actually have to be quite careful then. Because if they die near us, you know, that's a lot of grenade explosions going on. Oh God, yeah, there we go. I shot from miles away and it spawns a grenade right on top of me. So it's a player drops a grenade, not the zombie. So yeah, kill you. Oh, there's another grenade. Actually kind of terrifying. Oh God. Gotta not kill too many at a time. Saying that, okay, I only dropped one that time. So if you kill two in quick succession, it only drops one grenade. Actually, maybe we don't buy perks from the Wonder Fizz. Maybe we just let the cause and effect do its thing. If we get a perk one, we get a perk one, you know? I think that would be a better way to do it. Also, God, hello, zombies. Early rounds are knacked. Oh my God. There he is, all the way back there. Oh, just patiently running around trying to find it. There we go. And there's still one more. This is torture, bro. Where's the last one? I know Nacked, very nostalgic and all, and it, impact on zombies, it was the first map ever created. Very, very cool, but dear god, bro. Talk about anti-fun when they just don't spawn in. This round has been going on for like five minutes now. Shit, there he is. Oh my god. When a player takes damage, open a random door where there's actually... That's kind of not good because we want to keep this door shut, ideally. But at the same time, it's free. So like, oh, but it's debris, isn't it? It's very specific. It only opens doors, apparently. So this is kind of useless anyway, because the only door we have was right here. I was just thinking maybe we could get the Wonder Fizz if it was free, but nope. I mean, we can give it a try. Come on, zombie. Fucking hurry your ass up. Slap me. There we go. Oh, 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 it did open it. Okay, never mind. It's, apparently it works. Nice. Now both doors are going to be open. Yep. What perk are you going to give me? Quick revive? I'll take it. Also, can we just uh, think about how fucking large the moon is on this map? Why is it so big? Double points. Don't mind if I do. That means one more perk for me. What's this one going to be? Dead shot. Oh, come on. I'll kindly pass. When a gumball is eaten, a random zombie teleports near a player? Okay. I wasn't really planning on using gobble gums, but because, you know, they're kind of OP. We've got Pergaholic extra credit, you know. We'll be a little bit broken. What's the gun in here? Oh, it's the locust in the sniper cabinet. But like nobody ever buys this. Who wants a locust? I mean, it's not bad. Sure, it's like high damage without pack-a-punch because there is no pack-a-punch on this map. But there's a fun fact, actually. These red barrels that you can shoot that explode, these were actually put in place because Nectar and Totem, they were originally like trying to make zombies be a tower defense style FPS, which is really interesting. But they quickly changed their mind when they released Barucked and had like the perks and stuff. And they were like, nah, let's just go with the round based stuff. 
like obviously Nact was round based, but they put more emphasis on it, I suppose. And like the roguelite em elements. Eminent, 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 fucking hell, I can speak. Go for another spin in the Wonder Fizz. Surely I get something decent this time. Double tap. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. You know, screw it. We'll keep these two perks and we'll not buy any more. Just so, you know, if we get any more perks, it'll be because of the cause and effect mod. We can use these explosions, why not? Mustang and Sally, there is a zombie somewhere. My god, where are you, dude? Oh, here he is. Fucking finally. And the very last one is where exactly? Good god, I've been recording for 12 minutes. We're still on round five. This is just... Even with Pack-a-Punch and, like, perks and stuff, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. Oh, there we go. When a zombie dies, open a random door. Okay. Well, like I said, we already have the doors open now, so... Carpenter. Oh, boy. Just make the spawns even slower. I mean, I was planning on doing cause and effect on practically every single map anyway, so it, it's okay, man. We'll suffer through it, it's fine. This is going to be the slowest map out of all of them. Kind of excited to try doing it on the Rucked, but at the same time, it's going to be quite terrifying with the Rucked sprinters. And imagine we get one like that just slows down our sprint speed. It seems like they're spawning in a little bit faster. This is why we keep one of those doors shut as well, because it kind of speeds up the spawns if you're in like one of the rooms. When a grenade is thrown, a zombie spawns. Fuck it, dude. I'll throw some grenades then. Give me some zombies. I just want them spawning in, dude. So we can go for a spin in the box. I mean, why not? We'll swap out the Mustang and Sally if needed. Um, the BRM, eh. I think the Thunder Gun is on this map, so if we could get that, that'd be kind of cool. Spray the fuck out the Mustang and Sally. Try not to go down, of course. I'm gonna nuke. Oh, thank God. Please just end the round. And it did. Oh, thank God. When a gumball is eaten, a random zombie triggers an AAT. Not really something I can use again. Because if I pick up a gumball, I'm gonna have like some really OP shit. I'm gonna spin the box again. Come on. Give me give me a thunder gun. Give me a ray gun, maybe. That'd be great. Nope, an ICR. Not a bad gun, but eh, I think I'll just pass on it, you know? A weevil, again, just not really what I'm looking for. But to be honest, we have, like, very little ammo. I mean, it's fine. We've got points for the box. And it doesn't move, at least, so we don't have to worry about the teddy bear. Oh, a ray gun! Let's go. I'll take it, dude. Now I have double splash damage weapons. Don't know why I swapped the bread sheet. I guess because my ammo was low anyway. Oh, hello. Jesus, almost went down then. <laughs> Jump scared me. When a player earns 100 plus points, a random perk is lost. Oh, so I'm just getting punished now because of my perk purchasing. Well, I'm screwed then. Unless because I have a ray gun. Theoretically, I can't get more than 100 points per kill, can I? Even if I get a headshot, I'm pretty sure it, it won't. This is 100 plus. Let's see, shall we? You? Yep, that didn't count. Hell yes. So we still get to keep our perks. Let's fucking go. Yep, look. Boom. Headshot. Nothing. Talk about broken. Let's go for a spin in the box. Insta-kill. Not bad. An another insta-kill. My god. I'm just gonna spawn in. And a nuke. Fair enough. And I heard another drop. What was that? A max ammo. Okay, I'll take it. Wait, huh? I lost my but No! It's because I- did I- is it because I meleeed with insta-kill? I lost my double tap, dude. Well, that's kind of tragic. I completely did it without even thinking. I didn't even know. I almost did it again as well. When a perk is purchased, I lose 100 points. So it just makes it 100 points more expensive, I suppose. I guess I can't complain too much. You know, we have a ray gun. But we don't have double tap, which means it's not even reliably one-shotting anymore. It's like sometimes a two-shot. And obviously the crawler thing is going to be a bit annoying too. And we can't get a ray gun mark too if we're holding a ray gun. But it's fine, dude. Oh, a cuda. Oh, God. Ah, hello. Hi. Oh, map is still terrifying to this day because of how tight it is. All right. Oh, hello, crawlers. My God. Yeah, we won't purchase any more perks. Hello. Fucking hell, where'd you come from? Carpenter, I'm not going to pick it up. I'm going to get this MP40. It's iconic, dude. Why not? Completely forgot it was on uh, Nactar and Totem, but I suppose it makes sense. World of War and all. When a player reloads, an earthquake occurs. Oh, boy. Reload. <laughs> oh, great. i have got to deal with this while I'm playing. At least it's, you know, again, not like that Kino de Totem experience we had. Jesus Christ. At least the spawns have, like, sped up a bit. So we can actually progress with the rounds a little bit now. There's 550 different combinations that you could possibly have for this cause and effect mod. And I turned off repeat like mod things. Oh, there's an earthquake random happening. So you can't get the same combination more than once in this game. But even then, with all these videos we've done, I swear to God, I'm just instantly downed. I was going to say, I swear to God, we haven't had like still well over 300 of them. Maybe more, dude. Oh, God. 
That's what I get for using the MP40 instead of using the ray gun. <laughs> Dead, dude. I mean, this map's very small, and we can just do this as a short little video. I hope you've enjoyed Cause and Effect, Nectar and Totem. Kind of to be expected, you know, it's a very small map. This video wasn't going to go on for very long. The only reason it took 35 minutes to record or whatever is because the rounds are so slow. But I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out this video on screen. YouTube says you might like it. And I'll see you in the next video.